Tyree Jackson is an outside corner out of Oregon. He's six foot four, 194, 33 inch arms. We see Kyrie at the top of our screen. He's going to blitz off the edge and get a sack on the quarterback. He does show an ability to get to the quarterback off the edge, and he is an effective blitzer in that regard. Kyrie is a long strider that picks up speed as he goes. Watch how he uses his speed and agility to get outside of the block of the wing coming across and how he uses his great length to bring the quarterback down. He does flash blitzing off the edge. I believe his 40 time was 4.5, but he covers a lot of ground quickly with those long strides. And again, you see him use his length to make a play on the ball carrier this time in the backfield. As a tackler, I would describe him as someone who will tackle if he has to. He's prone to trying to throw shoulders high or standing back off of tackles, but if he has to, he will. But without reservation, I'll say that he will absolutely need to improve his tackling to be a complete member of a defense. There's no getting around that. He's at the bottom of our screen. We do see a nice play versus the run in this particular play. Watch him reading the action in the backfield. He's going to make a call to the safety, let this receiver go, set contain, take on the block, shed, and help make that tackle. Watch it again. He's at the top of our screen. This is a very exciting play so far as uh, his potential as an outside corner. Stride for stride with the receiver. He's going to get on top of the route here. Squeeze it to the sideline. Use that length. Extremely competitive, feisty play demeanor. And just a lot of natural gifts uh, leave you with a feeling of tremendous upside. He's at the top of our screen. He's going to make a really nice play defending this back shoulder throw, sticking those long arms in there and really making a nice play on the ball. Kyrie is at the bottom of our screen, tends to be a very grabby corner. This is something he will need to let go of so to speak, in the league. Tends to ride these receivers. You see his eyes in the backfield, though, does a good job coming off, getting in on this tackle. like to see him wrap here. If you happen to be a fan of the Ravens, as I am, you might remember a video of Jimmy Smith uh, speaking to a young Marlon Humphrey and really coaching him up. Uh, to the fine art of jamming at the line of scrimmage. If Kyrie were coached up in that regard and really able to develop that technique of jamming receivers at the line, he really could be a dominant corner. Bottom of our screen, once again, off the ball. Don't know if he's shooting and trying to jam here, but that's high. He ends up riding him, grabbing him around uh, his waist. This plays away from him. But I can't imagine he gets away with that kind of holding in the league. Very often you see this kind of half-hearted or unsure attempt at jamming up the receiver at the line. Kind of withdraws it. Funny enough, once he reads the action in the backfield, puts a nice two-hand punch on the receiver, and I'm not sure what would preclude him from doing that, let's say, on an in-breaking route. Similarly, and interestingly enough, he's going to get a good reroute, and that's the operative word, on his receiver. The explanation I give for this is he's not worried about getting beat. I think he's the flat player to that side. So he views it not as a jam where he's going to have to recover, but instead as a reroute. And you can see it's effective. Taking him in the third round, perhaps high in the third round, 
just based on his sky-high potential if he develops. The Ravens, for example, are a team that of late has really drafted a year in advance in an effort to anticipate players that may not be there the following year. I think Kyrie fits that mold very well for a team like the Ravens. He plays with that stereotypical uh, cornerback bravado. He's got very rare length and height. Really like this last play. It shows him uh, playing sticky man coverage on third down. There's that faux jam at the line of scrimmage that I told you about. So calm, not to break up the play, but right there. Anyway, yeah, this is a really sticky play by Kyrie. Just hip pocket, short space quickness. Reads the quarterback, finds the football, and breaks it up. Watch it one more time. 